That's the Claremont here from Claremont Maths. Today we're going to be looking at how to use the discriminant to solve problems. So I'll recall from using the discriminant, this is the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. Now if it was bigger than zero, that means we've got two real distinct roots. If b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then we have got two real but they're equal roots. And of course if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, we get something we cannot square root. So there must be no real roots. And you need to know this to be able to solve problems and find unknowns in a quadratic. So the first example, find the values of q such that x squared minus 8x add p equals 0 has real roots. So if it's got real roots, that means that b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. So in this case, a equals 1, b equals minus a, and c equals p. So substituting those values in, we get minus 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times p must be greater than or equal to 0. Minus 8 squared is 64. Minus 4 times 1 times p is minus 4p. That must be greater than or equal to 0. So we've got 64 is greater than or equal to 4p. Or dividing by 4, 16 is greater than or equal to p. Or to put it another way, reading it backwards, putting p on the left, p is less than or equal to 60. And that's us solve that simple question. Example 2, find the values of k such that kx squared plus 2x take away 7 equals 0 has no real roots. So if it has no real roots, b squared minus 4ac must be strictly less than 0. In this case, a equals k, b equals 2, c equals negative 7. So substituting that in, we've got 2 squared minus 4 times k times minus 7 is less than 0. 4. 4 times 7 is 28, so it's plus 28k is less than 0. So 28k must be less than negative 4. k is less than negative 4 over 28. Simplifying a fraction, k must be less than negative 7. Sample 3. Show that k minus 2x squared minus 3k minus 2x plus 2k equals 0 has real roots for all values of k. Now before we get into this, it's worth noting that if we work out the discriminant and we get a perfect square like 16, 25, 36, well, that means it's got real roots because if we square root a perfect square like 36, it's obviously got a positive and negative answer, okay? So if we can somehow work out what the discriminant is, and then make sure that it is a perfect square somehow, by completing the square, we'll then prove that it has real roots for all values of k. So go ahead, straight away, and we're going to work out on the discriminant. Be very careful with this one. A is k minus 2, B is minus 3k minus 2, and C is 2k. So if we start off with B squared minus 4ac, now we don't know what it is, but we're going to work it out. So B is minus 3k plus 2 squared, I'll just multiply the minus out, minus 4 times k minus 2 times 2k. Multiplying that out, minus 3 times minus 3 is 9k squared, 2 times 3 is 6, doubled is 12, so minus 12k, 2 times 2 is 4, so I've multiplied the first bracket out. k times 2k is 2k squared, times 4 is minus 8k squared. 
2 times 2 is 4k, 4 times 4 is 16, that will be a plus, because of a minus times a minus, plus 16k. Tidying this expression up, I've got 1k squared, and I've got minus 12k add 16k is plus 4k, and then I've got plus 4 on the end. If I try to complete the square on that and have no remainder on the end, it is definitely a perfect square number. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So completing the square, we get k plus 2 all squared. 2 times 2 is 4, so I've already got the 4. So since that's a perfect square, then it has real roots for all values of k. Okay. So just remember that little trick. If you end up being able to complete the square, then you get a perfect square, so no number on the end. Then if it's a discriminant, it means it's definitely got real roots, okay? This has been Claire and Maths, and today we'll be looking at discriminant and how we can use the discriminant to find the values of unknown parts of our program. Take care, stay safe, goodbye.